Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP self-learning video broadcast solution. Today I am going to demonstrate you how to do data transport transpose in ClickView develop Click, ClickView document. So today I will be going to talk about the importing cross table data into a ClickView document. So as you know that while importing the data, it can be in any format. It can be in a structured format. It can be in unstructured format. It can be in cross table format. So but it is necessary to convert the cross table data into a simple flat file tabular data in order to do the dashboarding or analysis or any report as per requirement. So first of all, let's see the cross tabular data. So to demonstrate you cross cross tabular data, I have created one uh, country population Excel sheet. And here you can see in this country population Excel sheet, we have got various columns. So first column contains the country name, second column contains the country code. And from third column, we have the year from 1970 till 2014. So and the figures which you can see here, these are the figures. Uh, the number of total population in that particular country but so here you can see we have this country name in this column we have country code in this column and uh, in the rows and we have year information and the this is the data with respect to the country and year is present in this section format in this section format so this kind of data is called the cross tabular data in which we have country dimension and year dimension. So this is a country dimension. This is the year dimension and this is the data which is in intersection of this country and year dimensions. So now we'll be going to see that how to convert this cross tabular data into a simple flat file data so that we can create reports or dashboards or we can do further analysis easily based on this particular data. So in order to do that, I'm first of all, I create a new click view document and I cancel it and let me save this click view document on my desktop as a name click view demo. So that file already exists. So I just replace that file. Now I just load the script editor because I need to load that data file. So click on table file and that data file resides on my desktop. So I look for that file country population Excel sheet and click on open. When I click on open, you can see there are multiple fields. So we have country name, country code, but the column names are not coming properly. So to convert these column names in a proper format, you need to change it to this to embedded labels. So the headings which you can see here country name country code that they will convert as a embedded labels. Now I click on next again click on next and here we have an option cross table. So we need to click on cross table because this is a cross table and we by using this cross table option we can transform this cross table data into a tab in a simple flat tabular data. So I click on cross table and here you can see there are three parameters. There are three parameters. First is the qualifier field. Second is the attribute field and third is the data field. So in qualifier field, basically qualifier fields are those fields for which the informations are present in rows. So we have two qualifier fields here country name and country code. So I'll just convert into I just change it to two and you can see the country name and country code. They have been changed their color and they have been marked in the same color. And here the attribute field. This is with the same color. Nine, you can see the attribute basically 1970 1971. They are in same color. So I just remove this and replace it with year and data field. This data field. I will leave it as it is data. And now when I click on OK, you can see the country name, country code, year and data. So the cross table, the, the structure of this cross table, this, this Excel sheet, this cross table Excel sheet has been converted into a proper format. You can see year 1970. This that's the uh, that's the total population 1971. That's the total population. 
and we simply click on finish so you can see in the script editor the script has been loaded successfully so i'll save it and reload the data when i reload the data it says the data 249 fetched and 11044 lines are also fetched successfully so when we click close we have here country code country name data and year now i click on country name i add basically these are this is to add the list boxes so i add the country name and year and okay so we have the country name and we have year and now we can generate a graph based on this particular cross table by using this cross table so this is how we can transform a cross table data into a flat file data so that it can we can generate reports we can generate dashboards and do the analysis easily on that particular data that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bispetraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on clicku you. you can contact with us for a customized training on clicku i will be coming up with some new videos on clicku till then have a nice day ahead goodbye